Hey, what's up everyone? This is Pyrrhus of Epirus bringing you some Q&A. I am not actually going to be playing uh, Medieval Total War, but um, I've got the background up because there is going to be some Medieval Total War coming. Medieval 2 Total War coming. Yep, that's right. I am actually going to be playing a different sh a different uh, Total War game. Uh, the reason this is because I've done so many campaigns in Shogun that I want to try something different. I haven't actually been playing online on, my, on Shogun or a PS3. For the past uh, couple of days i haven't been very well i've been very um like down depressed a bit and like sickly and s stuff so i've been really just uh i've been playing some um, mountain blade warband here and there because it's an easy game and simple instead of doing a campaign with battles every <laughs> like every few minutes and whatnot so uh i i am feeling a bit better so i do hope to come back uh to bring more videos and whatnot but um, yeah, I'm not actually going to be bringing you anything of uh, this right now. I'm, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Yes, question and answer. Um, surprisingly or not, I do get a few questions here and there. Uh, I'm not very popular. Like, I'm not popular on uh, in the YouTube community. I'm not saying like I'm horror. I'm like that. I hated by everyone. I'm just mean them. And no one like no one's heard of me as as well as I would like because I haven't really advertised. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do get quite a few questions. If uh, surprisingly or not. And uh, I've written down here 15 questions that I normally get uh, or normally get asked. Um, some of them probably aren't as uh, you know asked as my, as the others. Like so far, I'll, uh, I'll get into it when I start doing the questions. And uh, so yeah, I w and I won't actually be playing Medieval 2 Total War. I'm going to be playing a mod called Stainless Steel. I'm actually going to start watching videos from this person called uh, Dipple Heated or something. I can't remember what his main name was, but he's very popular on YouTube and. I've never actually given like many people a chance to watch their videos, but uh, I've been watching some of his, and like he's got a good commentator voice, so I'm I'm actually going to start watching his videos because he does he has a lot of like stainless steel, uh, third age, and other mods that I really enjoy because I'm a massive fan of the mod community and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I'll be bringing stainless steel, and I'll be doing campaigns, uh, and I'll probably start with in either England or maybe a different faction. I don't know, maybe you can leave a comment or something and ask what faction you want. Okay, so we'll get into the the questions. Okay, number one. For all the Total War games, what is your favourite faction and why? Okay, so where should we start here? I can't remember like, what order the uh, Total War games go into, so I'll start with... We'll start with Rome Total War as the main Total War, which got uh, the Total War series like, really popular and whatnot. Um, my favourite faction in Total War, easily the uh, Seleucids. I was a massive fan of Seleucids. I would admit if the Epirus, like uh, Kingdom of Epirus was in it, then it would have been Epirus. But um, yeah, I was a very big, I'm a very big fan still of uh, the Seleucid Empire. Uh, their history is very, like, uh, cool and whatnot. And, uh, and their, their armies are very, like, sweet as well, <laughs> like the Silver Shields. Um, backed up by cataracts and cataracts are just absolutely mean <laughs> um uh, if i had to say a second favorite faction it was probably i wouldn't say second favorite faction but uh i also got on with the uh, with, uh, pontus quite a bit as well i'm i wasn't the sort of person that would use rome all the time i wasn't one of those people that would uh, want to win every game so i'd use rome 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 <laughs> i would always uh use different factions like I beat Rome, a Roman uh, gold build arm of Spain once, and it was it was pretty fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's Rome done. Uh, both Ro uh, medieval, no, nah, actually we'll do it. Right, so barbarian invasions, the expansions for Rome. Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, I don't. I didn't really get on with any of the barbarian factions, if I'm honest. I mean, I did like the the Sarmatians because uh, I love the movie Kingdom of Heaven, and they're uh, pretty cool. But I'd have pr probably say the Goths because I really am a, a big fan of Alaric as well, and would have to be the Visigoths really because Alaric, Alaric was a, was um well he died before the Visigoths came along, but you know he had a Goths basically. Um, so yeah, probably like the Goths for uh, the uh, barbarian invasion, and then obviously Alexander the Macedon <laughs> like Macedon for Alexander. <laughs> Not gonna like the Persians or anyone. Um, okay, so then. Medieval 1, obviously, 
England, <laughs> medieval to England, medieval to kingdoms, like uh, so America. Um, I was actually a massive fan of the Mayans. I don't know why. I was really good of them. Their armies were very like it, all the armies pretty much the same, but I was very effective for them. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, Britain, obviously England, or Britannia, sorry, um, Teutonic. Uh, I didn't really play Teutonic much, but uh, yeah, I'd probably go with the uh, Teutonic to be honest because I did like their, their knights and whatnot. And then the uh, Crusades, obviously the uh, the, um, <laughs> the Kingdom of Jerusalem because it's uh, you know it, it's uh, a bit of the English history where we tried to go over there on Crusades and whatnot. And and uh, the Kingdom of Antioch was really the French part of the, uh, the like kingdoms of. The East, whatever it was. <laughs> okay, so I don't know, the uh, Crusader Kingdoms. Um, so what next? What are the oh God, how many Total War games are there? <laughs> okay, so uh, Napoleon. Okay, so Napoleon, obviously the British, but um, the, the thing I didn't like about Napoleon, I realise it's based around Napoleon Bonaparte, but uh, I still think they should have added more land to it. I mean, obviously he's he's like raging war in Europe. But come on, just because he's raging war there doesn't mean there's gonna be there's not gonna be other wars everywhere else. I mean, add America, add Australia, add India. The thing is, I never actually I've never played Empire Total War, and that is probably one of the most embarrassing things I can say, <laughs> because uh, obviously it's a Total War game, and I normally play most Total War games, but I also never played Shogun the first one, which kind of sucks because I never actually knew about it to be honest. <laughs> and uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, for Napoleon it's going to be British, uh, so unfortunately I haven't played Empire and the first Shogun, but um, if it was Empire then obviously the British again, and the Shogun, whatever factions are in it, <laughs> I'd probably pick uh, one what's uh, superior in infantry or cavalry or something. Um, then Shogun 2, favourite faction is Takeda, because of Shingen, and I think that's all, that's going to be all uh, the total war games, I might have missed one out, I'm not too sure. Okay. Oh, maybe like uh, Fall of the Samurai and Rise of the Samurai. Um, can't remember the Rise of the Samurai factions. And one is, I think it's Kiso that I was actually uh, I liked a bit, the uh, M something Kiso clan. But uh, yeah, and then Fall of the Samurai was the Tosa clan. I really like them. And I think that's about all of them. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move on to question two. Oh, that was a big question <laughs> that I had to fill out. Uh, besides Total War games, what other games do you play? Um, well, many of you probably know that I am actually a PS3 gamer, so I do play quite a, diff a few different games, but I also play a few different games on my PC as well. Okay, so besides Total War games, uh, there's Age of Empires, uh, 2 and 3, um, uh, I used to play Command and Conquer, don't play anymore because my disc broke. And I haven't, my games are actually here. <laughs> okay, uh, Star Wars Empire at War. They're my World of Warcraft things, so World of Warcraft basically. Uh, I think it's just those really. I mean, I haven't really brought that many PC games to be honest. Probably got some others lying around, such as uh, some like first, sh uh, first person shooters or something. But yeah, I don't really have many PC games of mine, so I just have a selection of uh, a few of them. I enjoy. <laughs> I would tell you about all the games that I got there, but they've uh, all tipped over and I can't be asked to get them up because they would just make too much racket and not in the mic. Um, and then for my PS3, I've all obviously played. Uh, I played uh, the Call of Duty games, all of them, uh, from one to whatever up now, like seven, eight or something. <laughs> and uh, um, FIFA. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of FIFA. I just play it when I'm bored. I played a bit of WWE. Uh, 2012, uh, Assassin's Creed, Revelations, um, Resistance, Gran Turismo, and maybe a few other games that I can't really remember. But there is uh, something, this isn't really an answering the question, but it's just something that I'm going to uh, put out there. I'm actually going to be moving to Xbox for Christmas because the community on PS3 has gotten very small compared to the Xbox, so uh, for Christmas I'm actually getting an Xbox and I'm hoping to get games like for, uh, Forza 4, so I can do a bit of drifting, uh, 
obviously I'm going to get Black Ops, so I want to get maybe some Halo, I'd really like to bring some Halo, but I'd have to get a Haiti PBR. I'm going to be selling some things, because if I don't, then my, my mum will probably force me to give away my PS3 so I can get that spots. But uh, I'll, I'll sell some of my other stuff, because I have a, a DJ deck and whatnot, because I, I wanted to be a DJ. <laughs> and uh, I have some a hold, uh, an old headset. Uh, so yeah, I'll sell a few things so I can keep my PS3 and have an Xbox. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Oh, um, uh, second question as well. I, I bought, I'm also a big fan of like online games such as Battlestar Galactica, like, uh, like you know, multiplayer games, MMOs. Uh, Battlestar Galactica Online, Four Story, Voyage Century. I, uh, I was very popular in Dark Orbit, if any of you've heard of it. My, <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't give my name, but I might as well. I was called Chaotic on the, for the first uh, GB server. I rolled with Warclan, which were we are relentless, and we we were completely dominant of the the uh, MMO faction. And um, I became very hated by t basically making and causing a lot of clan wars between uh, clans in the same faction. <laughs> so everyone, like everyone on the uh, server, knew me for being like the troublemaker. But I loved it because uh, Warclan was so dominant that we, we everyone just wanted to go at us but everyone lost so badly <laughs> okay this video is gonna be bloody long you talk a lot about tv series in your videos what tv series do you watch yeah i'm a massive tv like a tv fan not regular tv such as like uh, you know born in whatever's on these tenders and whatnot i'm not a big fan of those things i do watch these tenders with my mum sometimes when i'm bored and i can't bother to sit in my room all the time <laughs> so i go in uh, the front room and sit with my mum for a while, um, but the, I'm there is like TV series that I love them more than anything. Like uh, Game of Thrones, that's a brilliant TV series. There's Merlin, another brilliant TV series. Primeval, uh, something completely different to pretty much every other t TV series out there. And uh, True Blood, Teen Wolf, The Vampire Diaries, Supernatural. Uh, what else is there? I did like the Secret Circle at one point, it got a bit bad at uh, the second part. But yeah, basically, um, supernatural stuff, basically, and so Vampire as well. Wasn't, you know, I, I'm a massive fan of those things, but I don't like Twilight before some of you go like, oh, you're so queer. No, I'm not a fan of Twilight, because if you watch True Blood or Vampire Diaries, you'll see it's much more better and gorier, especially uh, the True Blood when someone rips out your heart and it starts drinking it like a little uh, <laughs> like juice bottle. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'm, I, I am a big fan of TV. Okay. Question four. Who else do you admire besides Pyrrhus Veparus? Well, um, obviously you've got to admire Alexander the Great. He was the greatest, or well, he is the greatest and always will be the greatest uh, Macedonian king of all time. And there are a few others, like uh, Mithridates the Great of Pontus. He was a very good uh, leader because he... He chose his land wisely. He took the um, the, uh, the like Pontus around the Black Sea, and it was near the Cappadocia. Uh, no, was it Cappadocians? I don't know. Yeah, Cappadocians, I think, which were a very um, big horse tribe, which uh, en enabled him to have good horses, which would fight the companion cavalry of the Seleucids, because obviously he had to deal with the Seleucids most of the time. So yeah, he. Um, Mithridates was a like a great uh, person, and he didn't actually conquer his land by uh, force. He just claimed himself king. <laughs> uh, another one is Alaric. Did mention him earlier. Alaric's a very uh, like a more future general of uh, that that like the time period and whatnot, and like uh, he was a very uh, good leader. Okay. What was your first Total War game? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, question five. How good would you say you are at most of the games you play? Well, personally, I... I don't really say that I'm good at any game. But, uh... My... I don't know what, how I can really say this, but my, um... Being me, I always strive to be the best at any game I play. I mean, I will play for hours on end just so I can become the best I can be and uh, surprisingly the amount of hours that I played on some total games and especially Call of Duty I should probably be the best player in the world <laughs> but 
you know, I, I don't, um, I'm, I'm, I could say I'm pretty good at most games I do play right now. Uh, all total games I was very good at, besides maybe some Napoleon because I never played it much. Um, I'm, r I'm rubbish at Age of Empire. You can ask Artuga if you go on his, uh, his channel, Artuga Gaming. You'll see that uh, I. You can ask him that if I suck at it, and he'll tell you how bad I suck. Because <laughs> I play him all. Like we used to play each other all the time, and it would always be him, uh, like absolutely dominating me. At one point, he actually sent over a. Um, a little villager <laughs> into my base it was like we had a river between us and then we had and there was uh, basically it was going to start off as like a sea battle and then we would try and land troops well instead of doing that i basically built my walls built my town and <laughs> i didn't realize he put a villager in my base without me knowing because i didn't check like all the land that i had and he basically built an army inside my land behind my walls and just absolutely steamrolled me before i could do <laughs> anything about it it was hilarious, but uh, yeah, I, I it, it was annoying at the time because I didn't realise that was going to happen. But yeah, um, I suck at Age of Empires. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Call, Call of Duty, um, I, I, I was a pretty good player on Black Ops, the first one. Um, I, was, I was also good at Modern Warfare 2, and hmm, I didn't play Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I started on... I actually, yeah, I started on COD 4, and I was uh, actually pretty good at the start, to be honest. I, I got into it, and I started playing really well, but um, I also went back to, like, all the Call of Duty, the past Call of Duties, like, I played World of War, COD 2, COD 3, COD, uh, uh, COD 1, sorry, and, you know, I, pl I played um, all of uh, all of, all of the Call of Duties, so, yeah, I, I basically strive to be the best I possibly can in every game I play, so it's, it's pretty much just me, I just, I just want to be the best. <laughs> But no, I'm not saying like, I don't want to be the best in the world. I just want to be the best I can be. Okay, so the question is, what was your first Total War game? My first Total War game was Medieval Total War. Yes, the first Medieval Total War. Um, I played that for a while. This was uh, years ago. Bloody hell, this was ages ago. Well, absolutely. Like, really long time ago. Uh, I played that on my last boyfriend's computer. I'm not going to go into that because it was uh, horrible. Asshole of a man. <laughs> and uh, when I got my own computer, I started playing uh, Rome Pro Tour and I've like, been playing it ever since. And this was probably more than <laughs> bloody hell, seven odd years ago, maybe? Ages. Um, so yeah, medieval Total War. Okay, the question seven What do you want to see in Total War Rome 2? Well, obviously, I would love to see the Epirus faction. Obviously, it's a big, it's a big uh, faction of the time period. So why not bring it in? Seriously, you bring Hannibal, you bring uh, other people <laughs> like uh, Seleucus and whatnot. So why not Pyrrhus of Epirus and Epirus? You know, just bring it in. Everyone wants it. We want to just do what the community wants. Um, other things I would like to see is conquest, the uh, the Avatar conquest, because it, it brings it brings them like a reason to play. Like, you, you play to to like unlock better troops and you play so you can be better and whatnot. Not just to come on, play, pick the biggest army, the better like the best army, like uh, pick right and go for like the imper uh, the urbans and whatnot, and then win pretty much every fight because you you have an overpowered army. I mean, I want Avatar Conquest because then it brings it brings reason to the game. But also, obviously, that they've already announced it. They're going to be bringing multiplayer campaign, and that is going to be absolutely awesome because I know that me and my friend are going to be playing it, me and Artuga, and I'm probably going to be like Macedon or Epirus, and he's probably going to be like Rome because he's obviously a fan of Rome. No, he's, a, he's just a person that wants to pick the overpowered faction, <laughs> as he does on Shogun. He picks Oda, and they have... Um, they have uh, Ashigaru units, which are better than sh which are better than sh uh, samurai units. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, anything else I'd like in Rome? Do um, more historical battles. I mean, battles with uh, perhaps less minion than the ones that they've already put in. I mean, there's so many battles that they haven't put in that I would love to see, like you know the the ones with. Um, between the like more of the battles between say the Parthians and the Seleucids or uh, more of the battles between uh, the Battle of Zama that would be bloody awesome Rome vs Carthage that would be brilliant 
but you know, just more historical battles and more realistic, like realism, I reckon. Okay, question eight. What PC did you get? Unfortunately, I couldn't actually find my PC on Amazon, so I bought a. It, it was a. It was a, from a company called Vivox. So it was a Vivox 11. It had one TB memory, eight gigabytes RAM, and a uh, 6,670 graphic card or something. I can't really give you the, the specs to that. I'm not really. Uh, I don't really know what it was anymore. <laughs> In fact, it's probably on my computer there, but I can't be asked to link that over and whatnot. Okay, so, question nine. What else do you plan on uploading? Um, well, basically every question, uh, every uh, game that I pretty much have mentioned already, so Age of Empires, Total War Games, anything really. I can't really like, go for a full list again. <laughs> Te uh, question ten. What's your real name? Well, I've actually, I've actually mentioned my real name in... Uh, Quite a few of my video videos. My real name in real life is Danny. Um, I personally don't like my my real <laughs> life name, so that's why I've always uh, gone for different names like Pyrrhus or Datsas and Desire and whatnot. Um, so yeah, my real name's Danny. Oh, question eleven. What's your cat's name? Yes, my cat always gets involved with my commentaries. I mean, it, it was like Eric Partridge's cat. Rest in peace, because uh, unfortunately he did die. But yeah, my cat will always get in the way when I'm trying to, trying to do a commentary. Um, my cat is a female, and she's called Shadow because she's uh, dark black, and you pretty much trip over her in the shadows all the time. <laughs> in the dark, she'll, she'll get in your way and you'll trip over her. She is that annoying, she's that dark, and you can't see her for anything. Her eyes are all, always like also dark, they're like a, a, a darkish green, so they're very hard to see as well. <laughs> okay, so question 12. Why do you use the name Pyrrhus Vepris? Well, oh, yeah, as, as you can hear now, my cat oh, is annoying me. She's on a box and she won't sit still. <laughs> okay, so what was that again? Why do you use the name Pyrrhus Vepris? Okay, so, um, uh, I don't really know. I mean, a few years back, well, more than a few, I, I started reading about him and, like, I just, I just felt like the connection between Pyrrhus and, let's say, myself, really. I mean, I'm not saying that magically I was, like, Pyrrhus by person in the past. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything like that. I don't know, I just, I just admired his, uh, his brilliance and his experience as a king and how he, like, had such a hard life because he obviously lost his crown twice and, uh, you know, he, he was brought up in a, uh, a Illyrian uh, kingdom, so I I he wasn't really, he's not like Alexander, he didn't just uh, be br r r like risen by his mum and prince, uh, uh, King Philip, sorry, and just like suddenly become king of Macedon when his father dies, because uh, Pyrrhus, obviously, um, his father was killed and whatnot, and then he, had, he was exiled, basically. Um, and he beat Roman, like the Roman, and it, it was uh, quite hard to beat Roman, to be honest, because in those periods where their armies were uh, pretty, like, uh, strong and whatnot, even though they weren't really, they were, they, the armies at that point were basically, they weren't full-time Roman uh, troops, they were just uh, citizens that would come up and serve their time of a few months and whatnot. Uh, I can't remember, Aux auxiliaries, I think they're called, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, but question 13, what Total War, in your opinion, is the best? Um, I'm actually going to go with Shogun 2. I thought Shogun 2 was brilliant. How many like new stuff they brought in was absolutely amazing. I've never, I never actually cared about Japanese history, but um, now I, I, like, I learn about it. Like when I'm bored, I'll just like write something and see what it's like, what it says on Wiki. I know Wiki's not the best to be trusted, but you can read some pretty cool stuff there. But um. Yeah, I, I, I think Shogun was the best, Shogun 2, it, it really was like uh, the next step in Total War games and I think Rome 2 is going to be bloody epic. <laughs> okay, for question 14, can I add you on Steam or Skype? You can add me on Steam, I do have quite a few Steams, there's Lord of Epirus altogether, there's uh, Pyrrhus of Epirus, TW, uh, Pyrrhus without H, all together, that's all together. And then I also have the uh, Anarchist one, which I don't play on. Uh, you can add me on Steam, but unfortunately you can't add me on Skype because I only add P 
people that I know or like have uh, talked to for ages, such as like old uh, Call of Duty friends or actual real life friends like Artuga and whatnot. Uh, so and it's like this is personal. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, last question, question fifteen. This one was I felt it was a bit personal because obviously. Um, it's uh, my life. And my life. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just read you a question. Okay, where are you from in the UK? Yes, it's quite personal, but uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna give you like my street. But I live in Essex, which is uh, a pretty big. Like I would, it's like a like a mini state basically, <laughs> or like a mini. Uh, I think it's called a county. I can't remember. But it's just like we have different parts in England where we'll have like East Essex and South Essex. And, you know, there's. Uh, di I mean, there's different parts. Like there's Essex and then there's other places. And, yeah. Basically, uh, I live in Essex, which is, uh, if you've seen the TV program called Towing, or the only way is Essex, then you'll know that we are a bunch of nutters. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, all of the questions. I don't think I can really think of anything else that I can ask or tell you. Um, nope, uh, but yeah, the, uh, that's all the answers, really. I will be bringing you some stainless steel, so I'm going to go and upload this, and I'm going to start watching some people to eat it, whatever his name is. I can't remember your name, and I'm not, I'm not insulting you in any way, I just can't remember, sorry. <laughs> my, my mind does not remember things very well. My cat's really, not, like, really doesn't like annoying me. Okay, so, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry if you just heard me babble on for about 15 minutes, or however long I've been recording. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted to answer some questions, and I don't really have any gameplay, so I just want to upload a video, really. Alright, so, I'll see you guys later. Bye!